Hi, my name is Lewis Carroll. I want to talk to you a little bit about rosacea. I, I know some people that have it, and uh, they're in the dark as to what causes it. You know, there, there isn't a lot of information out there, and I notice that the medical community sometimes doesn't know what the cause is. Um, the latest theory is the cause of rosacea is the demodex mite. Uh, this is a very small organism that lives in the sebaceous glands uh, located right next to your hair follicles and it eats uh, sebum and it eats uh, the dead skin cells that come out of the sebaceous uh, pore. Um, it's an eight-legged little creature and that, according to the latest information, appears to be the cause of rosacea. So there is a cause. It has to do with an inflammatory response that your body has towards that organism. Uh, actually towards the bacteria in the organism. So the theory is this, the uh, demodex mite in theory does not have an anus where it can defecate like other organisms. So what it does is it eats until it uh, expands too far and, and explodes. So the bacteria inside it then become, in, it comes in contact with the, uh, the pore wall inside the, uh, the pore and then you uh, have an inflammatory response uh, toward that bacteria. So the theory is to get rid of the demodex mite if you want to get, ros get rid of rosacea. You know, the problem is uh, everybody has it, especially if you're over 18, 100% of all humans already have demodex mites living in their pores. If you're under 18, it's, it's, it's around 90%. But uh, so everybody has it. Uh, most people don't have any symptoms. It's considered an asymptomatic uh, type of organism. But if you have symptoms, it's probably because you're uh, sensitive to it or you've got an infestation of them. You've got too many of them uh, in your skin pores. So what you want to do is get rid of them. So how do you get rid of them? Well, the standard treatment has been tea tree oil. Uh, tea tree oil, from what I understand, can kill them in about oh, 15 minutes or so. Um, another method is mustard powder with a little bit of water. You can take some mustard powder, mix it with a little bit of water, and start to put it on your face, especially in these areas here and here. And uh, that might be able to kill them within minutes. You know, I'm talking maybe maybe uh, three or four or five minutes. Um, another thing that kills them is ethanol. Uh, ethanol is an alcohol that's used in alcoholic beverages like beer and wine. And ethanol uh, can kill them, I think, in under a minute. Uh, I don't know if they get drunk and then die, but it's probably the most humane way to do it is ethanol. Um, but uh, I haven't had any experience with ethanol personally. I've, I've never drank any of it in my whole life, and I, uh, I've never used it on my face topically. But uh, mustard uh, powder, uh, tea tree oil, uh, you know, a little tea tree oil, I've tried it, but not enough to, to really get some experience with it. But mustard powder, I've tried some of that myself. And, if you mix that mustard powder a little too strong, it really stings um, for about two, about two minutes, maybe three minutes, and then it goes away. Uh, but I can see how that could be a real deadly thing. Mustard powder is not like the mustard that you get in a bottle. Uh, mustard powder is a pretty powerful thing. It doesn't have any sugar in it, so it's not, you know, set up uh, to be, uh, you know, like a condiment on a hot dog. You know, mustard powder is pretty strong stuff, and if you mix it with water, uh, man, I'd hate to be an organism swimming around in that stuff. But anyway, I think that is the way to get rid of them. Now, there's another trick to it, though. Demodex mites, you have to understand uh, their nature a little bit. They, they stay inside the pore. So if you're going to put these kinds of things on the surface of your skin, it doesn't mean it's going to get down into the pore to where they live. So what you got to do is wait for them to come out. And they come out at night. They like to avoid light. They don't like light. So when it gets dark, they will actually come out. And what they're doing is they're looking for a mate they're looking to reproduce. So they will come out, find a mate, slip back into a pore with their mate, and, uh, and consummate there. Um, so I think the trick would be to maybe get the topical application of ethanol or mustard powder or tea tree oil ready, and then set your alarm for 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, or uh, if you get up early, then it's okay. But what you'd want to do is, is get up, and put that stuff on before you actually turn the lights on. Catch them when they're out. You know, catch them when they're out on the surface of the skin. I think you can, you can get a lot more casualties that way. Um, trying to put it on during the daylight hours when they're inside the pore is going to be harder. Uh, your numbers of kills is going to be uh, substantially lowered, I think. So once you understand their nature, then you understand how to get them. So uh, that's the latest on rosacea. 
And, uh, and I think ethanol or mustard powder or tea trail can work, although ethanol and mustard powder I think will work a lot faster.